Welcome back. In this video we're going to cover the user configurations in Sigmanist. When you first launch Sigmanist, you will see this login screen. This screen now manages the different users in Sigmanist. Also, different users can log into different configurations. These configurations manage databases, INI files, system files, and other Sigmanist settings. Along with different users, there are different security rules within each user. We'll cover more on that later. Let's go ahead and go right into Sigmanist. The default login is admin and the password is password. Once you're in Sigmanist, let's set up our first user. Click on the Tools Help tab and click on the User Management icon. Under User Setup, we can create different users and assign different security roles to them. Let's create a user. Remember that only the admin can access the user management tools by default. We will go over security roles in a moment. Click OK when finished. You now have a new active user. After you create a user, you need to apply a level of security to the user. The user I created is a new employee who isn't fully trained on Sigmanist yet. And I will only give him a view only status because I don't want him to have access to everything in Sigmanist. To edit the security roles, click on the user management dropdown and click on security roles. The four roles we just saw earlier are listed here. To edit a role, just double click on the role or select the role and click on Set Feature Rights. Here, you can see all the features that are available to manage with the security roles. To change permissions from Deny to Allow, right-click on the category and choose either Allow or Deny. When finished, click OK. You can also make specific security roles admin if you like. You have created your first user. Remember, only admins can create and edit users. Please remember to change the default credentials for the admin user. To do this, go back to the user management, click on edit user to change the username from admin to whatever you like. Then click on set password to change the password for the admin user. Let's go ahead and close Sigmanist and log into our view only user we just set up. You can see here that I'm able to edit work orders but not delete. Also, I do not have access to the user management system since I'm not an admin and that's all there is to it.